Welcome. Thank you, Mrs. President. The Vienna Declaration and Program of Action affirms that principles of universality and non-discrimination for all human beings. We are affirming these principles and welcoming further dialogue on this matter, I have the honor to make on behalf of 82 states the following joint statement on ending acts of violence and related human rights violations based on sexual orientation and gender identity. First, we recall the previous joint statement on human rights, sexual orientation and gender identity presented at the Human Rights Council in 2006. Second, we express concern at continued evidence in every region of acts of violence and related human rights violations based on sexual orientation and gender identity brought to the Council's attention by special procedures since that time, including killings, rape, torture, and criminal sanctions. Third, we recall the joint statement in the General Assembly on December 18, 2008 on human rights, sexual orientation, and gender identity, supported by states from all five regional groups and encouraged states to consider joining the statement. Fourth, we commend the attention paid to these issues by international human rights mechanisms, including relevant special procedures and treaty bodies and welcome continued attention to human rights issues related to sexual orientation and gender identity within the context of the Universal Periodic Review. As the United Nations Secretary General reminded us in his address to this Council in it, at his special sitting of 25 January 2011, the Universal Declaration guarantees all human, human beings, their basic rights without exception, and when individuals are attacked, abused, or imprisoned because of their sexual orientation or gender identity. The international community has an obligation to respond. Fifth, we welcome the positive developments on these issues in every region in recent years, such as the resolutions on human rights, sexual orientation and gender identity adopted by consensus in each of the past three years by the General Assembly of the Organization of the American States, the initiative of Asia-Pacific Forum on National Human Rights Institutions to integrate these issues within the work of national human rights institutions in the region, the recommendations of the Committee of Ministers of the Council of Europe, the increasing attention being paid to these issues by the African Commission on Human and People's Rights, and the many positive legislative and policy initiatives adopted by states at the national level in diverse regions. Sixth, we note that the Human Rights Council must also pay its part in accordance with its mandate to promote universal respect for the protection of all human rights and fundamental freedoms for all, without discrimination of any kind and in a fair and equal manner. Seventh, we acknowledge that these are sensitive issues for many, including in our own societies. We affirm the importance of respectful dialogue and trust, and there is common ground and that there is common ground in our shared recognition that no one should face a stigmatization, violence, or abuse on any ground. In dealing with sensitive issues, the Council must be guided by the principles of universality and non-discrimination. Eighth, we encourage the Office of the High Commissioner for Human Rights to continue to address human rights violations based on sexual orientation and gender identity and to explore opportunities for outreach and constructive dialogue to enhance understanding and awareness of these issues within a human rights framework. Ninth, we recognize our broader, broader responsibility to end human rights violations against all those who are marginalized and take this opportunity to renew our commitment to addressing discrimination in all its forms. Tenth, we call on states to take steps to end acts of violence, criminal sanctions and related human rights violations committed against individuals because of their sexual orientation or gender identity, encourage special, special procedures, treaty bodies and other stakeholders to continue to integrate these issues within their relevant mandates and 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 urge the Council to address these important human rights issues. 
I will read to you now uh, the joint statement on ending acts of violence and related human uh, rights violations based on sexual orientation and gender identity states that are co-sponsoring this statement. Albania, Andorra, Argentina, Armenia, Australia, Austria, Belgium, Bolivia, Bosnia, Herzegovina, Brazil, Bulgaria, Canada, Central African Republic, Chile, Colombia, Costa Rica, Croatia, Cuba, Cyprus, Czech Republic, Denmark, Dominica, Dominican Republic, Ecuador, El Salvador, Estonia, Fiji, Finland, former Yugoslav Republic of Macedonia, France, Georgia, Germany, Greece, Guatemala, Honduras, Hungary, Iceland, Ireland, Israel, Italy, Japan, Latvia, Liechtenstein, Lithuania, Luxembourg, Malta, Marshall Islands, Mexico, Micronesia, eh, Monaco, Montenegro, Nauru, Netherlands, New Zealand, Nicaragua, Norway, Palau, Panama, Paraguay, Poland, Portugal, Romania, Rwanda, Samoa, San Marino, Serbia, Seychelles, Sierra Leona, Slovakia, Slovenia, South Africa, Spain, Sweden, Switzerland, Thailand, Timor-Leste, Tuvalu, United States of America, United Kingdom of Great Britain, and Northern, Northern Ireland, Ukraine, Uruguay, and Venezuela. Thank you very much. I thank